everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sari and this is day 26 of the Simplify Your Life Challenge for 2022. This challenge is based on an ebook by YouTuber Michelle B. I will link her channel and the ebook in the bar down below. There is also a playlist where you can follow along with this entire challenge and all of the videos from the beginning. I will link that on the screen. So with that, let's get into day 26 where we call our goals. A simplified life consists of simplified priorities. Having a string of 20 goals that are complex that you're trying to achieve all at once in the next month is not only unrealistic, it's also unsustainable and is going to lead to burnout and you basically not accomplishing anything. Ultimately, we humans work best if we focus on one big goal at a time. And then once we've either achieved that or we've made it such a part of our normal routine that we don't have to think about it, we move on to the rest. If you only have one goal, you're able to focus all of your attention on that one goal. If you have 20 goals that you're trying to achieve all at once, you're going to get overwhelmed and you're going to want to quit and you're not even going to achieve half of the things that you want to achieve. You're also going to waste a lot of time switching tasks and that will make some things that you do accomplish take twice as long as you expected them to. It's really the same idea as multitasking where it might feel like you're getting more done, but so much research out there suggests that multitasking actually leads to lower productivity and lower quality work overall because you're not giving any single task the attention that it deserves. Here is kind of a quick step-by-step -step guide to clarifying your goals and distilling them down into one or two. I will give you a personal goal and a professional goal that will either have the most benefit to you right now or is the most pressing thing you need to address in your life. First, Brainstorm your goal. Get out a sheet of paper or open a document on your computer or your phone and write out any life goal that comes to mind, no matter how big or small. Some questions to get you thinking about that are, what things do you love to do and keep thinking you need to do more of? What did you love doing when you were young? that you don't do anymore? Who do you look at online or in your life and think, I really need to live like that and why? If you only had two years to live, what would you do with that time? What do you want your life to look like in 10 years time? Goal setting is hard. So do your best with this and really think big and think like, what do I want? To do what one thing would make my life better so and it can't just be I want more money like set a specific goal I'm not into the whole smart goals thing but be specific about this not just like well I want more money because that would help me okay but like in what way and roughly how much and why and what would the benefits of that be because you're going to have to start thinking about how to make progress towards that goal. So it can't feel so huge and nonspecific and nebulous and unattainable. You really do have to say, okay, I do need more money. So my goal is to find ways to increase my income. My goal is to do a better job saving. My goal is to move into a new living situation, things like that. So not just, I need something to change. You really have to get a little bit more specific than that. So make sure you're, you're thinking about the specific things that you think you want to do or you need to do that will improve your life based on all of the things we have been doing in this challenge so far. After you've got your big list of goals, go back and prioritize them by most impactful to least impactful. 
So that's kind of which goals would have the biggest, most positive impact on your life right now. Are there goals that would make it easier for you to achieve some of the other goals on your list? Focus on those first. Once you have prioritized, it should be fairly easy to then, to choose your one goal. Out of all of the goals on the list that you just made, which is going to have the highest impact? What is the one thing I can do right now that by doing it, everything else would become easier or unnecessary. For example, this is not my example, this is from the ebook. I'm anti waking up earlier, but I'm gonna give you that example because it is what the ebook gives. Maybe if you work towards waking up earlier, then exercising, making a good breakfast, and meditating, which are all goals you have would become 100% easier. This is gonna require some thought, it's tricky. I don't have it fully figured out because my goals are weird and some of them are very specific and some of them are not. And so you kind of have to think like, can I combine all of these things that are goals of mine and say, well, is there a common factor that would help me achieve these five things? Okay, that's actually my goal. There's a lot of thought process going on here and there are a lot of books and resources that can help you. So investigate that, check it out, do some research, look up some things on the internet about this. There's so much out there about goal setting and prioritization. So avail yourself of that. Three, write out your action plan. This is where we revisit our friend, Sarah Knight. So in her book, Get Your Shit Together, which we talked about in a previous video, she really talks us through working towards our goals by breaking them down into small manageable pieces. Take this one task at a time instead of some huge bag thing that feels enormous and unattainable. Think about and write down, what are all the baby steps that you need to get done to accomplish your goal? Write down every single step you can think of, even if it seems obvious or inconsequential, especially if it seems obvious or inconsequential because crossing stuff off lists feels really good. To really focus on this, it may help you to set a mini goal for every month and then all the baby steps it takes to reach your mini goal. So it's like big goal, mini goals, micro goals in a way, right? So these are like the task level things that say, okay, I'm going to do this and this and this. And then by the end of this month, I will be here. And then following that, I'm going to do these five things. And by the end of that month, I will be here. Break it down into as many pieces as it takes for this to feel like something you can achieve. After you have your action plan, transfer it to a safe space that you know you'll revisit. Don't be afraid to revise the plan. This is where some people fall off of the whole goal setting thing. It's similar to like diet culture, right? Like you mess up once and you're like, well, I messed up, it's over. No, you can and should be flexible with these things. Like. Sometimes it takes you longer to achieve a task than you think it was going to take you. Sometimes something is harder. Sometimes life gets in the way and you just don't get to where you plan to be by the end of that month. That is okay. You can and should revise the plan. If you need to add steps, add them. If you need to break things down further, break them down further. If you need to group things together, group them. If you need to adjust the timelines, adjust them, but make sure that you are not just adjusting the timelines because it is easier to adjust the plan than actually work on it. You still have to work hard and try to stick to the schedule. Once you have a plan, stay on track. Studies have revealed that it is two to three times easier and more likely that you will follow through on your goals if you decide where and when you will take action on them. So ask yourself, how often am I going to work on this goal? When will I work on the goal? And what will be my signal or trigger that pushes me into working on the goal? Remember that the easier it is to do something, the more likely you are to get it done. Think about what you can do to make achieving your goal easier. 
For example, again from the ebook, lay out your clothes the night before so they're ready to go in the morning. Fill up your water bottle every night to encourage you to drink more water to start your day. Things like that. Set yourself up for success by doing the prep work before it is time to jump in and start working towards the goal. Because otherwise you'll say, oh, I have two hours to do this thing and it's gonna take me half an hour to get this ready and then 15 minutes to get this ready and by then I will have wasted 45 minutes. I'm not actually gonna make any progress or whatever, I'm not doing it. If it's not something you naturally would be doing and you naturally want to be doing, you have to get yourself set up so that it is as easy as possible for you to just grab the thing and do it. Fourth, and finally, as always, celebrate yourself. Today might feel big, or it might not, but you have done a lot of work. You've simplified your priorities, you've picked one goal to focus on, and you've set yourself up for success. You have a plan, and you're going to take little steps and work towards a big goal so that you can achieve amazing things. So take a second to celebrate yourself for that work. Let me know how today went. How did it feel for you? If you want to share your goal with us, that would be cool. If you want to share the steps towards your goal or the timeline or whatever you want to do, I would love to hear it. I would love to see the goals you all are setting for yourselves and the amazing things you're going to be doing soon in your lives and how you're going to get there. Please share that if you feel comfortable. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to hear about the next videos in the series, etc., hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye.